hey loves welcome back it's time once again for my monthly favorites i know i'm getting old but wow the time is just flying by i feel like i've just done one of these anyway i've got a really nice mixture well i think it's a really nice mixture of skincare some cosmetics a random amazon or you know i like a little sneaky amazon purchase and this one involves a bum vase it'll all become clear just a nice selection some new things some really really old things anyway let's crack on with it these are the products i have been using the most and enjoying the most throughout the month of april let's start off with makeup this was a recent purchase for me and something i have fallen desperately head over heels in love with it's the wayne goss the radiance boosting face palette i did a whole kind of review first impressions on this a few weeks ago i'll link that video in the description box below but this is absolutely stunning i've got the lightest shade like gold basically it's a sculpting and bronzing palette but it's just like nothing i've used before it's a cool tone sculpting powder which looks so natural it blends like a dream wears and sits beautifully on the skin the bronze shade is just like you've been kissed by the sun it's not too much it's just enough the pan size is huge i love absolutely everything about it hands down my most favorite kind of contouring sculpting powder bronzer combo i've ever used it is a little bit more spendy but for the product you get and the quality of the the product and how it wears oh just i absolutely love this and um i am sure if i do a yearly favorites i am very confident that this is going to be in there whilst we're talking about skin and radiance and that natural healthy looking glow i have to talk about this from code 8 beauty this is new to me i've only had it a week but i have been using it every single day even if i haven't worn a full face of makeup i've still been putting this on this is radiate this is basically the most beautiful balm oh it's just so stunning i've got the shade what shade have i got i've got the shade n10 and this is a beauty balm it's like a lightweight hydrating moisturizing foundation it adds a hint of color so it's going to give you a very subtle color and even out your skin tone give you that kind of soft focus finish but for me it's how it makes my skin feel and look it's got like vitamin a and vitamin c it's got a whole bunch of yummy ingredients you just you can massage it in with your fingers like literally not even a mirror needed bung it on pump a little bit out rub it into your face and i mean you can see here lightweight coverage but it's just sinks in and it feels incredible skin it feels like skincare it really does it just disappears into your skin but leaves your skin looking so hydrated and radiant and plump and fresh and oh i just I love it and I think it's the perfect product coming out of spring and into the summer where you want the hydration and it has an SPF in it as well but you want that extra hydration you want your skin to look like your skin but better than this is the product it doesn't stay tacky it does definitely dries down but still keeps that glow love the packaging it looks like it's a squeezy tube but actually the packaging is hard I like that like that confused my pea brain for a second but i really like that still got the box here let me just check it also has the code 8 special needs technology which has a lightweight texture that dries fast with a second skin finish leaving it looking naturally radiant and smooth and that's exactly what it does if you're looking for full shebang ultimate full intense matte coverage then this isn't for you but if you want a hint of color a hint of coverage but you want your skin to look glowy and radiant and hydrated and i think especially as i get older the more hydration the better for me and that's what i love about code a i feel like they understand all skin types but especially if you're not 21 if you're a little bit older then i feel like they they get me they get what i want from my products they get what I, my skin is like and this is so so beautiful i forgot to say i am wearing it today um i have put on the code 8 concealer as well so i've concealed and kind of used it around my nose and chin and stuff for that little bit of extra coverage because i've got a few breakouts at the moment we're going to talk about breakouts in a second but i've used that with a touch of concealer on top as well and you can see i mean i don't know if it's picking up on camera but i can see i've set my face with a little bit of powder but it still has this beautiful kind of glow to it real fresh looking look looking look that was a good sentence yeah i, I just love it so i mentioned breakouts and normally my skin is really 
really okay when it comes to breakouts and stuff i suffered as a teen but in my adult years it's been okay but apart from the last couple of weeks i've had a whole bunch of breakouts i've been wearing my mask and more i've been getting out and about more and that has definitely given me breakouts around my mouth area i love these bad boys this is the second time i've bought these and these aren't a new purchase i've had them in my house for a really really long time but they are products that i can rely on and count on and i think they're genius they're by the brand peace out and these are the peace out acne healing dots you get 20 in a box they're not cheap i think they're about 17 pounds 18 pounds but you get 20 so it's like cost per use per dot it's really effective basically and you get 20 and you get 10 per packet and they're sealed which i like and basically when you have a breakout or sometimes you know when you can feel that breakout brewing under your skin you can feel something brewing like a little lump and you know that that potentially can be an app it's going to ruin your life you know what i'm saying you get one of these little bad boys and you just on clean face and you have to make sure there's no skincare on there so like if you're going to put your skincare, go back in with a flannel or something and make sure that, that the, the area that you want to pop one of these on is completely clean and, and dry. You pop one of these on and then I sleep in it. It says leave it on for six or so hours or overnight, but I always do them at night and sleep in it. And it makes a significant difference. It either completely gets rid of it. So that spot that's brewing, it disappears. Or if you've got one that needs a little bit of help it kind of draws everything to the surface which sounds disgusting but it kind of pulls all the yucky gunky stuff out brings it to the surface so that you can give it a gentle clean-handed squeeze if you want to if you're a picker and i like that like if i get a zit i want it over and done with as quickly as i can and these are great it has salicylic acid in it which is great so it's going to penetrate deep into the pores of the skin and push out any kind of dirt gunk excess sebum and fantastic for breakouts it's got vitamin a and aloe vera which is going to soothe and reduce redness as well i love them you can get them in sephora um in the states and online here i did a quick search just now and you can get them online in boots and for me i always feel like when i'm going somewhere or i've got something planned like a, an event i know it's not happened recently but you know what it's like you've got a party or an event or a dinner or a date or something guaranteed you'll always get a big dirty old brewer growing like 12 hours before it's always the way so it's really nice to have these on hand stick it on either nip it in the bud or help the whole process get over and done with much quicker highly highly recommend them there are lots of these around like lots of other brands and similar products these are the only ones i've tried and because they work so well for me i repurchased these ones but i'm sure you can pick up something very similar anyway love them definitely worth having in your skincare collection this is a random one and it's a product i've had a really really long time it's probably expired or well, maybe not it says 24 months maybe it's not but this is a press blush from Milani. I got this in America a few years ago, but it is available here in the UK. This is the shade 08 Tea Rose, and it's just a nice big powder blush, completely matte. And I've been using it quite a lot recently. I think because, you know, I've got the balms, which adds glow to the skin, and then the, like, the Wayne Goss Radiance Palette adds that radiance. And sometimes adding a blush, if a blush has got any kind of shimmer or or radiance to it it can for me maybe look a little bit too much so with all these glowy products i like to use a completely matte blush and this is what this is like i said i've had it for a really long time and i've just rediscovered it it's just a really nice color it's really buildable it does you have to use quite a lot actually it's quite a subtle blush but it's a really 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 you can see there like it adds a hint of color i'm wearing it now but if you look if you're looking for like a nice long wearing matte blush then i think this shade is lovely t rose love that it's massive yeah and it probably has if it's not expired it's probably close to but it's still all right i'm sure it's fine a couple more things i work out a lot if you follow me on instagram you will know that i'm massively into health and fitness I work out five six times a week i'm obsessed just really really enjoy it do a lot of resistance training if you don't follow me on instagram actually head over give me a little follow it's at the emma rumble anyway i'm working a lot with my vitamins i use a lot of their supplements and beauty supplements and i've been using the last few weeks actually longer than that it's been well over a month now the my vitamins pre-workout shots me and my husband both drink these i was using like a traditional pre-workout with a scoop mixing it pre-mixing it and 
you know, I love pre-workout because it just adds that extra pep to my step. I find that my energy levels increase and I do a better, more effective workout. I just can power through and do more with the pre-workout. These are great. They're pre-mixed. This is a sour berry flavour and they are quite sour, but you just down it in one. It's got caffeine, it's got creatine in it, it's got some really great ingredients to really help you up your workout game. So if you're feeling lethargic or tired or you're not in the mood or you know you want that extra push, <laughs> then I don't use my brain to give myself a talking to. I use pre-workout. And these are just so quick and easy and convenient and delicious and they work. I know people are gonna ask, do you get the tingle? Sometimes you do. I don't always get the tingle. If you take pre-workout or you've taken it before, you'll know what I mean. Sometimes you kind of get a tingle in your fingers or your toes or maybe your face. I like it. I, for me, I know that I've got, the, I've got the magic in me and it's gonna push me through, but sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I don't, I don't know why that is, but really handy maybe you work out after work or in your lunch break or something and you've got your gym bag and you want to take a pre-workout and you know mixing it and shaking it and drinking a drink maybe it's not convenient so these are great you can literally bung a few in your bag and then drink it on the way to the gym or like 20 minutes before you work out and you're good to go i have a discount code i'll pop all in the information in the description box below but the code saves you 55 percent that's a code and a half, right? But yeah, I wanted to mention these because I've gone, I've completely switched from taking that dry pre-workout and pre-mixing it. So just grabbing one of these, shutting it down and getting on with my workout. The last thing is my random Amazon purchase and it's a vase in the shape of a bum. It's literally a bum vase. Oh, or a front bottom vase, but I have it this way round. Bum vase with, with this massive kind of, what is this called? Pampers, like this stuff here <laughs> i bought them separately both from amazon i'm seeing these kind of bum vases all over my instagram and these you know like the really lovely home accounts that people that know what they're doing and they're just stylish and they you know they know they just buy things and like my friend lara if you're watching this hey lala lara buys stuff and just puts it in a home and it immediately looks fantastic and i, I just struggle with that but i've been i've been seeing these bum vases all over the interweb and i was like i need a bum vase in my life so i searched body shape vase and this popped up i'll link them in the description box below there are lots of them i got one that was just could be delivered to me the quickest because i'm super impatient and i'm loving all the kind of pampas grass this one looks a bit floppy doesn't it all the kind of pampas grass dried flowers i'm loving it and they're very on trend as well apparently aren't they so i've got both of these the bum vase and these and i've got them on my fireplace downstairs and I feel like, I feel like one of those bougie home accounts. I don't really, I'm far from that, aren't I? I mean, I've got Lego in here. What do I know about things? What I do know is that I love a bum vase. I love them very much, even though my kids think I'm slightly strange. Isn't that pretty? So if you want a bum vase, there's a whole bunch of bum vases. How many times can I say the word bum? Loads of them on Amazon, but I love that. It wasn't that expensive, I don't think. Can't actually remember. I'm now gonna look, realise how much I spent on the bum bars and hate myself. No, it wasn't that bad. But anyway, I got, I got that. I did wanna kind of put it in here and then I, it didn't fit, <laughs> it didn't fit. So the bum bars or the front bottom bars lives downstairs. Love that. So fashionable. Did you know that about me? So there you go, they were my monthly favourites. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below, as always, were there any products that you fell in love with that you bought and discovered or rediscovered this last few weeks? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to check them out. And as always, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. I don't always talk about bum vases, I promise. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll speak to you really, really soon. Take care. Thank you.